friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Welcome back to my garage. I have here in my shop today this beautiful 82 Toyota truck four wheel drive. This one has, I believe, only 78,000 miles on the clock and is pride and joy of its owner. I believe the owner shared with me he actually owned younger truck but he really admires this short bat 82 truck so he sold the newer one which had the fuel injector engine 22 RE and he purchased this incredible older with the engine 22R so that means that's only carbureted version and I'm just walking around and trying to show you all different angles to this wonderful cute truck the owner was recommended by some other customers of mine who highly recommended me and he basically begged me to help him to diagnose his problem. I clearly told him, hey, 82 truck, four wheel drive. I might never even had it in my shop, but I will try my best to do and find the problem. Now, what the problem is? And I will use his words. Vibration during acceleration above 35 miles per hour. Vibration in neutral while in motion above 35 miles per hour. No vibration when cruising with gear engaged above 35 miles per hour. Squealing, maybe grinding, when shifting in low mid range RPM. This is occasional. And the last thing what he said, he said, I try to service this truck all by myself. I do all my repairs, but I hit the wall. I know it could be related to the U-joints on the propeller or drive shaft, propeller shaft, but I check them, they're all good, everything's fine. I don't know what else to do with it. Please help me. Well, what do you think I did with it? Of course, before I brought it here, in the shop I immediately went on the test drive I selected a nice chunk of road which has no bumps just a nice smooth asphalt start driving it and yeah I have to tell you that transmission gears they make all kinds of noises there's no problem shifting never grinds or anything but when in different gears the gears are very noisy so I'm already thinking about what are his fluids, what is his transmi transmission fluid, is it on the level, is it new? Well, he said he services everything, but we don't know. What's about that transfer case? Is it all up to date? Because yes, it makes all kinds of noises. Also that kind of squeaking, it was there. So if you look here, that looks like somebody was maintaining that rear diff, correct? So let's go and continue here. This is what I called the propeller shaft. He said he inspected these U-joints which you know from your own experience or from this channel. It's completely true. They could be making the vibration. They, they definitely could be cause of vibration we saw in our videos correct some u joints which were almost ripped apart so we saw and filmed a bunch of stuff here was looking on the transmission mount if it's okay and all around so this will be the transmission filler slash level plug drain here we have that transfer case by the way this feeds the speedometer and that doesn't work so the cable is probably bad but here will be hidden drain plug so I should be able to take a sample and this will be again filler slash 
Uh, level plaque. The owner looks or seems to be very detail oriented. I believe that he does his best to maintain it for himself. It's his hobby, it's his toy. But can I just blindly believe what he said? That the U Jones are perfect, for example, and just take it for granted and say, well, I will not even look at it. No, that's exactly where this vibration happens. Once again, we filmed it many times on this channel. So let's go and look at those first. And I finally prepare some lighting for you. So you will be able to see it nice in detail. And the camcorder should have no problem to record it. So you can see this oil all over, which should be normal when you grease when you grease these fittings because you press the grease into U-joint so it's lubricated correctly and it sprays all around except this oil seems to be way thinner look at this it's a droplet that grease never flows like this so I'm wondering already what's happening here is that transfer case empty and did it lose all the oil around this seal well hard to tell we will continue with that but i promised looking on the u-joints so if you look at it the output shaft coming out of the transfer right here is actually a lot of play i will say excessive play i'm not happy with how much it moves. Looking inside of that u joint and tear, you know, moving it, turning it, I don't think those needles in those bearings failed. I think this u joint is satisfactory at this moment. Let's go and look on the one in the back. And these ones in the back at the rear differential these ones we filmed together we saw them collapse almost ripped in the pieces and look with me look at it that little bearing it's completely kaput it already fell apart there's a huge play there do you see it? This is impossible that this will be moving like that. So he somehow didn't see this. Let's look on the other part. Look how much movement is right there. This is completely gone. This is gone. And if he has any vibration on this drivetrain, we know immediately from where it's coming most visible once again oh here let's look from here do you see that bearing part of it coming out even completely gone kaput ripped in the pieces and failed so we have a answer for his vibration and his paying me for diagnosis so i will remove this shield to get a nice access to the drain plug because i want to take only very little sample of this fluid so that will be my first sample once again here on the bottom of the transmission i will do the same i will first look on the level the same here i will first check level here then i will take sample here manual transmission i will open it inspect the level and then i will take a little sample of these fluids because i want to know if they are okay the transmission unfortunately it's pretty noisy so, so i started with the transfer case i opened the level plug and the filler this is the drain i removed this steel but there was no need it was very slightly overfilled and i got a sample of that fluid 
and if you look at it that's not good it's not the worst it's not like catastrophic scenario but it's definitely contaminated I thought he was maintaining it because that oil and so on but I will definitely write him that that should be replaced by the way thanks to him coming here taking samples that reminds me I should run home and first on the way home I should get more sauerkraut to keep that COVID nighting away from us now here you can see that manual transmission drain and that will be that filler but how you look inside when I open that drain excuse me that filler slash uh, level checking port when I open it I cannot see there nothing came out so how do I see if the level is just touching this port correctly where you involve the mirrors and that mirror perfectly shows me that the level of the fluid is actually right there I see it and it's full of small bubbles so the level is good and I can use this plug to take a very small sample of the fluid and look what came out of it what I caught absolutely nasty bad black that's no good it's there it's up to level but I don't know what's making him to keep this manual transmission gear oil this is real nightmare that should be replaced now I better get going, get online and create some price estimates for the owner. He will probably do it himself, but I will still give him idea how much it will cost at my shop. And I will need to keep moving because I have another van waiting outside. So hopefully you find this video interesting, helpful and make sure you are subscribed. I will always have more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, my friend.